Hi, I am back um, now um, with my third video, hoping to talk to you about some of the resources that helped me um, while I was trying to learn more about a genesis of the corpus callosum. Um, one of the YouTubers, and I'd say almost the only YouTuber who has a true channel dedicated to um, a genesis of the corpus callosum as an isolated event, um, meaning no other syndromes are involved, um, is living with ACC. Um, she has no idea that I loved her so much and she really helped give me hope. Um, not to tell her whole story, but just to give you a little um, bit of a background, she herself had ACC, was not aware of it. She was one of, I want to say six children. Um, she has the story for you. Um, stop right now, if you must, and go check her YouTube channel out, Living with ACC. She found out that she had um, ACC when she was 18 um, with a brain scan um, and for her it finally put all the puzzle pieces together and um, what I loved most about her story is that you know aside from the obvious struggles that she went through during school age she was able to grow up find love have a family of her own and um, pursue her own happiness, which is something that I lamented about um, over and over once we found out uh, what Layla had was what kind of life was she going to have? Um, was she going to be able to be independent um, if she so chose to be? Was she going to have relationships ships in her life because the one thing that you'll see over and over is that there are communication issues or socialization issues with um, kids who have ACC and then into adulthood. Um, I think for them it's the, the, it's the social nuances that they kind of m not really misinterpret but they have a hard time interpreting. Um, but what I want is if she wants relationships in her life and, um, friendships, um, I'm just hoping that she can connect with people, um, because it's, you know, it's human nature to want to fit in, um, to have a circle of friends. Um, if she wants to be a lone wolf and she enjoys solitude, then by all means, more power to her. I myself am not really large into big crowds. I don't have a hundred friends. I have maybe two close ones. Um, so it's just, it weighs heavy on my mind to think about, okay, we've, we've gotten through the birth. She was healthy as can be. I had a great latch. Um, hitting her milestones as a baby and now it's the waiting game and that's all you're going to hear is it's a wait and see. Um, for me, now that I'm seeing that she's, she's getting there, next thing is going to be when she becomes verbal, then we're really going to see of course what's going on in her mind and how she's processing information. Um, and then regurgitating it back to us. And after that, it's going to be school age. And I'm so afraid of how kids are going to treat her if she's, if she's different. Um, you know, kids can be mean. And what I just hope is maybe if you're, you're another parent who doesn't have a child with special needs, that you're instilling into your kids to be accepting of others that that are a little quirky or are different than you that you bring them into your circle 
um, of friends and celebrate them for being different. I guess, I mean, all of us want our kids to be accepted and popular. I mean, I don't know if everyone wants their kids to be popular because I know that there's a few who are against the grain, but it just all comes back to happy. We want our kids to be happy and fulfilled with who they are. Um, and I can't help but worry. Um, but it's also something I think that we can work on with her um, when it comes to social cues and going back to the YouTuber living with ACC, um, she explains how she did that in childhood. I think there was an understanding that some things that she did were a little bit different and her parents didn't know what it was, but they worked with her. And one example I can give you to re that I remembered is um, I think she had a friend and she was, they scheduled a phone call together and she came home really excited to her mom. And so to prepare herself for the phone call, um, they wrote down questions and her mother told her, you can't just talk about yourself the whole time. You have to also ask your, the friend questions about her. And, and so her mom knew that there was something, um, I guess socially, she doesn't really go into it, but with her mom helping her prepare for a phone call with a friend, you have to understand that I'm sure the mom got it somehow. Um, but so maybe that's something that we'll know to work on is to have that the rep, rep the rapport with people is always ask them questions and quite honestly there are some people with their corpus callosums who could use a really good lesson in um, conversationalism. Did I just make up that word? I don't know. Anyways, it's a give and take and I, I don't know. I'm rambling now. Um, living with ACC, watch her videos. I'm telling you, it will give you so much hope. What else? Check out the um, website, and if I figure this all out, because I'm new to trying to do videos, I'll write these things or text, put them in text underneath here for you. Um, you should definitely look into uh, the website nodcc.org um, again nodcc.org um, that's for uh, there's this whole organization that's for um, I guess oh, big words it's it's dedicated to people who have um, problems with their corpus callosum I know that there are various, um, I guess, levels of having this issue, complete, partial, um, complete partial damage, I think, to the corpus callosum if people did have it before and then it was damaged. So this website and organization is dedicated to all things related to the corpus callosum. I know that they do have um, get-togethers for parents and those who are living with ACC. Um, they have conferences, if not every year, every two years, um, sometimes locally and sometimes I think just nationally. Um, so please look into that. There's Dr. Lynn Paul, L-Y-N, and then last name Paul, P-A-U-L. Um, she's one of the ones who we are participating in a longitudinal study, which is just filling out surveys as Layla grows and hits her milestones. Um, so check her out as well. Um, and that is all I can think of. There are online Facebook groups, so all you need to do is look up, I guess go onto Facebook and search a genesis of the corpus callosum. There's a general group there. Um, they will invite you in and then from there if your baby is due 
um, sometime within the next few months or if you already had a baby and you just found this out um, there are certain baby groups that have started since 2014. I can't stress to you enough how important it is to have community and everyone there is very helpful. They'll be your biggest cheerleaders. They'll share their stories with you. Um, it's a really fantastic group and I'm, I was pretty lucky to have found it. Um, so go find them. Um, there are just FYI, because missing your corpus callosum can be related to other syndromes, um, if you have an isolated event, not every child in there has the exact same thing. So depending on what you may have as a diagnosis, um, everyone's, everyone's different. So their story isn't necessarily going to be your story. So really keep that in mind um, when you go there. Um, that's it. I think the next video, I don't want to make these too long um, to bore anybody. The next video, um, I think I'm going to talk about kind of the decision and what what was laid out for us um, with Leela. Okay. Thank you. Um, have a good day.